Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create a group policy object that ensures that all client computers automatically synchronize their time with the domain controller. Time synchronization is a very important setting in a domain environment. Many services such as Kerberos authentication, file replication, and even login rely on client computers. And if the time difference between the domain controller and the client machine exceeds five minutes, authentication may fail. Implementing this policy ensures that all client computers on your network remain synchronized with the domain controller. Ensuring seamless connectivity and secure authentication. Let's start creating this policy step by step. Open the server manager dashboard. From there, click on the tools menu at the top of the page. And from the menu, click on group policy management. Next, click from the left side to expand and select the domain you will be working on. I will create the GPO at the domain level as a whole. So I will create it directly under the domain name so that it will be applied to all organizational units. Then right click your domain name, then select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And in the new GPO window, enter a meaningful and descriptive name for this policy, such as time synchronization and click OK. Then right click the newly created GPO and select edit. This will open the group policy management editor window so you can configure the policy settings to synchronize client computers time with the server. Now, navigate to the path shown on the screen and I'll leave the path in the video description so you can quickly access it. And on the right side, you'll find the policies available for this section. Double click the policy labeled Enable Windows NTP Client and select the Enabled option. This policy ensures that the NTP client service is running on all computers connected to the domain, allowing it to synchronize with the domain controller. Without this feature enabled, your configuration won't work. Also, double-click the policy labeled Configure Windows NTP Client and select the Enabled option. Then at the bottom, you'll need to edit and add some settings. First, in the NTP Server field, enter the host name of the domain controller, followed by your domain name. You can obtain this full name from Windows Settings. Copy this full name and paste it into the NTP Server field. Next to the name, you'll find the value .x9. This value is a special flag that tells the client to use the server as a reliable time source and communicate with it using the default client settings. This flag is typically used in domain environments to force synchronization with the domain controller. Enter it manually if it's not already written. For the type, select the NT5DS option which means the client will synchronize time from the domain hierarchy rather than an external NTP server. This is the ideal option for active directory domains. And leave the cross-site sync flags field at two, with a value of two meaning synchronization will only occur from domain controllers in the same site. Also leave the resolve peer back off minutes field at 15, which is the initial wait time in minutes before the client retrying time after a failed time synchronization attempt. Leave the resolve peer back off max times field at seven, which specifies the maximum number of times the client retry resolving the time source and change the special poll interval field to 3600, which is the number of times in seconds the client checks the time with the NTP server per hour. Finally, the event log flags field controls the logged events. A value of zero means that only errors are logged in the event viewer, keeping the logs clean. Then click the apply button and OK to apply the policy. This completes the policy setup and you can close the group policy management editor window. Now I'll open one of the client computers and open a command prompt to run the group policy update command on the client computer instead of restarting the computer. In the command prompt window, execute the gp update slash force command to update the group policy. After the group policy update is successful, 
I'll verify the synchronization by executing the command shown on the screen, W32TM, query, status. This command displays the current status of the Windows time service, the name of the server the device is synchronizing with, the polling period, and the last successful synchronization. Make sure the source field displays the name of your domain controller, as this indicates that the synchronization was successful. That's all for today's video. We've learned step by step how to create a group policy object that requires all client computers in a domain to synchronize their time with the domain controller. This ensures proper authentication, secure communications, and smooth operation across your network. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.